Hey there, it's Thomas at Lifter LMS. I hope I'm recording the right screen. Um, I'm going to do a quick review of uh, Lifter LMS Launchpad version 1.3.0, uh, which should be available to you publicly any moment now. Um, it's pretty pretty packed release, so I just wanted to go through every new option and every new setting and uh, reveal some of the exciting new stuff we've got available for you in Launchpad. Um, I'm going to walk through our change log here. Uh, our, our, uh, I'll, I'll save the best for last. So we've got a bunch of new settings. Uh, if we take a look at these new settings, uh, we'll start in the header area. Um, there's a whole new section. Well, we'll start with the logo. Uh, we can now define a logo width. Uh, so if we just, let's see if I've got a logo here in my media library that we can upload. I do not. Um, let's grab something. Um, let's see if I can just find a quick logo somewhere. Uh, here we go. I've got one. Got an old code box logo. Final logo. Yeah, let's try this logo. Um, so, uh, you used to just upload your logo, um, and this will obviously, you know, work exactly the same. But if we take a look at that logo that I just uploaded, um, and show it. Let's select the full size logo, 742 by 191. We'll insert that into the page. We now have a new logo width option. It defaults to 260, but let's say we want this display our logo rather small. Um, we can define that. So if you upload a you know higher res version of your logo, um, you can let Lifter, I mean Launchpad, define the width. So uh, here that'll that'll get constrained to whatever our max width is. It won't make the logo um, bigger than its container, so let's go 800 here. Um, its container is only that big, so it won't ever get bigger than the container, but uh, that's a new option for you. Uh, if we go down to header layout, this is a new area. Um, we've got two different layout, uh, two different new layout settings, uh, which are gonna make this very customizable here. So uh, this little yellow box, that'll be your logo. The right side will be your navigation. You could select between a left side logo or a right side logo, uh, or branding if you just have the site title, that'll, that'll work that way too. So you'll see I switched that to the right and it flopped it. Um, and now we can determine the widths of those content areas. So we've got a couple different settings here. We work off a columnized layout in the header here where there's uh, 12 total columns. Uh, so we've just given you all the, all the options, and not all of the options, but the, the most logical options. We don't have like one and 11 here for you, but um, the rest of them are available. So we do like say a 50-50, um, and that gives you more available space. So this doesn't make much sense with the menu I have right here, but say you only have two menu items uh, and your logo is the most important thing to you, uh, you, can, you can create a, a, a layout like that. Or say you're kind of uh, of the mind that your logo is the least important thing, uh, and your navigation is the most important. You could give more option, more more area to your um, to your your navigation. You can also do hundred hundred, which will stack these on top of each other and center them. Uh, and then again, I don't I don't like the way that looks. But let's say we want to have a smaller logo there and stack the logo, um, and then do a centered navigation. Um, and in combination with the um, uh, the layout options, we could stack them in a different order now, where we will put the menu on top and the logo below it, if you wanted to do that. Uh, so there's some new settings there. We also have paddings. Um, so this will make a little bit more sense if I put a background color on here. So let's put a really gross, uh, just blue background on our header there. We'll reload that page. Um, so now we've got a blue background. Um, and now we can, uh, with our new padding options, we can customize the padding. So say we wanted to have a really huge header. Um, you, can, you can customize all the different areas of padding, put more space above and below the inner content there. Um, so there's some new header options for you. Um, and if we dump, jump down, we, uh, a lot of folks have been asking, and we, we've done this, um, and you maybe asked us, we gave you a custom code snippet to do so. Um, but if you go to your My Courses page and you have both uh, login and registration enabled on your login, uh, on your, your registration page, um, we now have an alternate layout for that under Lifter LMS account. Just select the side-by-side -side layout. Um, and this will give you an alternate layout now where you're, um, oops, what do I do there? Um, 
login and registration. Can I botch that? Um, oh, this is probably not my account page. Hang on one second. Um, make sure my settings are set up correctly here. And accounts. Go to my courses. There we go. So this will make the account page layout uh, side by side this way. Um, a 50 50 column here. So if you see, I probably have a sidebar enabled there now. So let me, uh, let me go take a look at that. And yeah, we've got sidebars enabled. So if we wanted to see a real full width, um, we, could, we could do that layout. Um, so that's a, a new setting too. Uh, while we're over here, another thing people have been asking for is the option to hide the title on singular pages, posts, courses, whatever. Um, so that's what this hide title option will do right here. Um, so we can select that. And then the My Courses will go away there. Um, so you can do that. Any There's a lot of different custom post types that have this enabled. We're on a page right now, but you can do this for blog posts, courses, lessons, et cetera, et cetera. You just check that box. Um, and that will hide your title. Um, and you could, of course, then, you know, put something else in here or whatever if you wanted to. But um, so that is our uh, a, a new page setting. Um, do note, however, let's go look at say um, I don't know if I have a blog post that's set up here, but let's uh, go take a look at the blog post really quick. Um, if we're looking at yeah, I don't have one created, but let's just do a set up the sample page there as my uh, posts page. Um, if that, that layout option, uh, or sorry, that, um, let me get out of this window now so I can edit stuff. Um, that setting will not affect an archive page. So if I decide on this particular post, uh, or sorry, uh, I want to look at the blog post, not the page. If I decide on this page here, I want to hide the hello world title. Um, I can do that. So right now I'm on the singular view of that blog post and that page title is gone. Um, however, when I'm looking on the archive view, that title is still going to display. Um, and uh, that's true of like say a course too. If you're looking at the course archive, um, it'll, it'll hide it on the singular view, but it will not hide it um, when you're on the archive view. Uh, so that's that. We've got uh, a new button setting. Uh, so if we're looking at Lifter LMS uh, link, uh, Launchpad links and buttons, uh, we now have padding options for your default buttons here. Um, so let's uh, uh, let's go back to that registration page. Um, slash my courses. Is that one right? My courses. Um, oops, that's LifterLMS.com. We want courses. There we go. So these buttons here, uh, we can now control their um, look and feel using uh, the links and buttons settings. Uh, so, you know, we want to just make the background color purple. And if we want them to be really huge, we could make them all, let's say, 30 and 60 padding on the left and right. Um, and now those buttons will get a little bit bigger and you can control the padding. Um, on all sizes, although these buttons look a little bit weird. We might have a big thing on this particular button that we want to customize, but uh, well, anyway, uh, so you can control the padding on these now. Although, I should probably figure that out. These buttons look weird. Looks like the bottom padding you take, but it's weird. Oh, I set a different bottom padding. Okay, there we go. That's why I look weird. No, still weird. Uh, I will debug that before I release this. It's one of the things that's valuable about running through everything a second time before releasing. There's got to be a height somewhere in here. Yeah. Oh, 
I messed it up. All right, uh, I will fix that. We don't want to be defining the height. So anyway, that's the way it will look after I fix that before I release it. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, so that's the button settings. Post layout settings, uh, there's a handful of bug fix. You're welcome to read through all those things if you want. If you're a developer um, and you've been using any of these three fields, we've fixed a couple uh, issues where um, some characters, for example, if you're doing uh, this CSS selector, uh, we were improperly encoding this, uh, which is a safety concern for pushing it into the database. But in this particular reason, we want to be able to output that character. So um, some of those selectors have been optimized in both HTML, I mean CSS and JavaScript. Also, if you're a developer here, um, we are now automatically passing the dollar sign, the jQuery dollar sign into this. Um, so you can use this a little bit easier if you want. Um, uh, with just the dollar sign rather than the safe mode jQuery. Um, that's available for both the custom JavaScript header and footer. Um, and that is that. Those are all the new features and the new settings. Um, and now we're going to get into the importing and exporting, which is down here on our advanced tab. Um, you can now generate an export file. We just create a quick uh, JSON object, which doesn't have to make any sense to you, but all you need to know is that you click that Generate Export button. It's going to give you a copy of all of your Launchpad settings on every one of these tabs in their current state. You can come over to your text editor um, and uh, um, you can come over to your text editor, and uh, we've got a uh, uh, a copy of all of those settings. Uh, so again, this is just a bunch of nonsense, but this will help you preserve that. So you can just save this as a text file, and then if you ever want to come back, uh, maybe you make multiple configurations, maybe you just want to make some test changes and you want to back your changes up before you move on um, and do some weird stuff, you can, uh, you can back it up that way and just save that in a text file, like I said. Um, and then later you can come out and copy that out of your text file, paste it in here, and click the Import Settings button. This is going to tell you that it's going to overwrite all your existing settings, which right now doesn't matter. Um, so uh, that's cool. And let me show you an example of that in real time. So let's go over here and just uh, take a look at the front end of the website. And this is, we're looking at this. We made a couple changes here, change the buttons, etc. cetera. Um, and then uh, let's go over, I've got a copy of our demo site locally here. Um, so let me load that up and I'll grab the settings from there. Um, so our demo, well, let's look at the demo here. Um, to see that it has, uh, now the content isn't gonna come over, but we're just gonna take the launchpad settings. We've got kind of a gray background, blue links here. Uh, this is a slightly outdated version of our demo. Um, so if we come over here and we go to, uh, where am I going to form our parents launchpad? Uh, and I'm going to grab the export from here. Uh, and bring that over to our demo site that we're working on here for purposes of the video. I'm going to import those, import those settings. Uh, and now we'll have an all new, let's see, go through and it'll, it's updated some of the things to match what our uh, launchpad site looks like, our demo site looks like. Uh, and if I load that up on the front end now, you'll see it overwrote. And uh, like I said, it didn't bring in the logo or any of the content, but it brings in all of those settings and uh, overwrites uh, what we had there. Um, so that's a cool feature that a lot of people have been looking for. Um, and uh, for our pro subscribers down the road, we'll be uh, creating some custom configurations, predefined configurations for you. Um, and uh, if anybody is interested, uh, and would like our demo. We've had a number of people in the past couple of days or weeks since we've uh, redone our demo ask for a copy of uh, the Launchpads uh, theme. They like, they just want it from that demo. Um, so we're going to give that away to you now. So if anybody wants it, just drop us an email, open a new support request, and we'll uh, send you a copy of that uh, JSON file. So that's it for 1.3.0. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, as always, just you know, hit us up with any feedback or any comments or questions or concerns. Take care.